Welcome to Pacific Coast Science Supply. Today we are going to demonstrate the cap top replacement procedure. This test print is an example of ink dropout which may be caused by bad cap tops. This image compares a new cap top to a worn cap top. As you can see the worn cap top is beginning to flare which can cause ink dropout. Now let's get into the menu. Press the menu button once. We will arrow down to the sub-menu and then arrow once to the right. And now we will arrow down to the maintenance menu. In the maintenance menu, we will arrow down to replace wiper. Then we will hit enter. Replace wiper moves the print carriage out of the way and raises the capping station to the up position for easier access. Now we need to open the front cover by removing five screws located in these areas. Gently pull forward on the cover, revealing the pumps and the hoses to the cap tops. The caps are spring-loaded. We need to gently remove the cap cover, being careful not to drop the inner springs. Use your tweezers to remove the springs and place them to the side. On the pump side of the cap top, open the hose guide. Locate which hose belongs to the cap you are replacing and remove it from the inlet on the pump. Pull the cap top out. Feed the new cap through the hole in the capping station. Make sure the cap guide is facing the back of the machine. Reinsert the spring carefully. The spring will seat into the base of the cap. Now replace the cap cover. You can gently push on the cap so it will self-align. Now replace the hose on the inlet side of the pump. Replace the front cover. Once everything is in place, press enter. The capping station, wipers, and print carriage will all home and the printer will go into a cleaning cycle. When the cleaning cycle is over, do a test print. If the test print shows that you still have ink dropout, run an additional clean. Thanks for watching. We hope this has been informative.